let's just say the power grid goes out, okay? I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I know. I just don't know when it's going to happen. Meaning, is it going to be in 2024 during election year? Because they're scared shitless that Trump could actually win. Is it going to be 20? Is it going to be next five years, 10 years, 15 years? I believe it's going to happen. You best just do whatever you can to be ready for it. Some people are maybe saying, well, I don't have the kind of money. You guys got the money. Da, 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 da. This isn't about money. There's ways of preparing. Hey, fam. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another reaction. This is Segovia coming to you live from the man cave. Man, it feels like I haven't uploaded in forever. It's been a couple days since I had to upload. Changing my schedule. We're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I will be going live either Sundays or Thursdays. Let me know what day works better for you guys down below. A little exhausted today, y'all. I started a 30-day challenge. I'm gonna be running one mile a day for 30 days, trying to do the carnivore diet for 30 days. I'm documenting it. Let me know if you guys would like me to maybe start a new YouTube channel, and that's where I'm gonna upload it, but in these 30 days, just document my daily, you know, what I'm eating, my weight, how that's doing, how my mood's doing. That's really what I'm doing this for is for my mental health because I've just been in a slump for so long. So I need something to get me out of it. So let me know down below if you guys want me to start like a vlog channel and start vlogging my daily, you know, my daily activities I'm doing through this 30 day. And then on the 30th day, we'll upload that full compilation of, you know, what I've been documenting up until then. But hey, you know my slogan, enough with the chit chat. Let's get into the reaction. Here we go, y'all. We got a little compilation I put together. Some TikToks that are going to keep you up at night, y'all. Hopefully not, because these ain't even conspiracies no more. It's just, I'm going to start calling these videos 2024 clips, because it's getting crazy out there. Let's get into it. So here we are at, at Eagle Pass, uh, and we're going to be uh, meeting with uh, uh, the sort of major, the major officials uh, uh, and uh, law enforcement are responsible for the water. And... Um, and just hear it directly from them and see it, see exactly what's going on uh, for yourself. So uh, with that, let's begin. Yes, I'm Tony Gonzalez. I'm the uh, local congressman here in the district. My district is 823 miles of the southern border, places like Eagle Pass, El Paso, Uvalde, Del Rio. Uh, we've been at the epicenter of this border crisis. Elon, every White House has done that. Okay. It, whether it was Trump, whether it was Obama, whether it was Clinton, whether it was Bush, every single White House has had a border issue, and every single one has handled, issue. had that every uh, year. handled it the same way. Okay. By essentially going, we can't let everybody in because it's going to overwhelm us. We're going to, you're going to uh, abide by the laws, and if you don't qualify for asylum, we're going to send you back. And as soon as you start doing that, it alleviates the stress. This administration hasn't done that yet. Okay. Uh, we're getting over 20, about 2,500 people coming over illegally a day. And we are, we are repatriating or sending zero back. Zero. Z zero. Zero. So not zero is quite a small number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay, let's just literally zero. So zero. basically there's no repatriation. What is happening is zero. This is insane. I'll show you this tweet from Elon Musk. He says, this is what happens when you run out of hotel rooms. Soon, cities will run out of schools to vacate. Then they will come for your homes. Elon Musk is not wrong. In fact, he is terrifyingly correct. They have already, already asked. They said, if you have spare rooms, let the migrants stay there. We'll give you money. Sooner or later, you will not have a home. You'll have a room in a building. Sooner or later... As a, your landlord will say, I got a better deal from the government. So we're going to uh, uh, split your apartment up. You'll say, you can't break my lease. The government will enact some kind of special provision, and they will. Your lease will. Yeah, I wasn't with them at first. I didn't even think about rent. When he was talking, I was like, man, it's up to people if they want to let them come stay with them, right? In my house, I pay mortgage. I own it. The bank owns it. But you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, they ain't going to come in here. But that's true. Leasing, you ain't the boss, right? Me, it's a choice. I won't let someone come in here and they pay rent, whatever. I can do that. You're leasing, hey, government's giving us a break. That's true, y'all. They're doing it to schools. Like that tweet said, they're canceling school because uh, the, the migrants are staying in the gymnasium. Be broken. You'll be required to live with these individuals. And why don't you Google search what happens to this people so who live good. with strangers? It's like a lime beer. Here in Lukeville, we are quite literally in the middle of nowhere. Two and a half hours to the closest major city. Thousands. They closed this border 
uh, crossing. Uh, they closed it a little bit after this, probably. Uh, it was getting ready to close. Well, guess what? They just reopened it, y'all. They just reopened it. Because uh, there, it's a big beach town. This border, to get to get through there, like that's Arizona's beach. That's where people from Phoenix, Arizona, that's where they go. Rocky Point. And uh, Rocky Point was 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 dying because they closed that border. So to get through, you had to take like a six, seven hour drive. Used to be three hours. Now it's a six, seven hour drive. So their their economy over there took a major hit. So they opened it back up, y'all. And guess who's coming through? Coming back they're through. crossing here illegally every day. And the situation is completely unsustainable. This is leading we'll to something. Out. Give you a look at the scene here. This is a mass this of is leading hundreds to something. upon hundreds of people who have crossed the border illegally and are camped out here at the border wall waiting to be apprehended by Border Patrol. You'll quickly notice these are all single adult men. There is not a single woman or child in this group you're looking at. And these guys are coming in from all over the world, large amounts of African men from Senegal. This is what I don't understand. Like, I know like Mexicans coming over Back in the day, it was harder, right? They had to sneak in. Now it's easy. They, they're they just open borders, right? But back in the day, the man would come, get him a, a job going, a business going, landscaping, something like that. And when he gets his money right, you know, he'll pay to have his family come over. But that the borders are open, that's what I don't understand. Like, why the hell ain't the whole family coming now? And I know it's not just Mexico. It's, you know, all over the world. But still, why are we only seeing, you know, middle-aged men coming through? That's what's crazy from Guinea, from Mauritania, from Egypt, others from the Middle East, others from Asia. This is Border Patrol's Tucson, Arizona sector, which just had 17,500 illegal crossings last week alone. That is the highest weekly total ever recorded. We talked to one breaking news about America's is national leading. security and the warnings from the FBI to local, state and federal law enforcement about the possibility of terror attacks right here in the homeland. CBS News got a look at a new joint bulletin that warns groups like Al Qaeda and ISIS will likely use the Israel Hamas war to increase calls for violence in the U.S. this holiday season. This bulletin right here says that the most likely primary targets could include churches, synagogues, and members of the Jewish community. Now, today, the FBI director was telling senators that the U.S. is facing the highest risk of attack in years, that there are blinking lights everywhere, and warning terrorists will exploit the southern border. The head of the FBI says the bureau is working to identify and disrupt these potential attacks with foreign terrorist groups openly calling for strikes against Americans. He also said that the number of threats are at a whole other level since the October 7th attack on Israel. This is a very sophisticated terror organization, Sean. It's been reported that there are sleeper cell agents from Hezbollah in the United States. They have proxies around Latin America. We'll remember their attacks in Argentina and other places for many years. And of course, we can't forget the Beirut attacks. Uh, so Hezbollah wow. has, it's a terror group that has long roots and long capability to attack and kill Americans. We received that report about two Navy SEALs missing off the coast. Yeah, I wonder if like these terrorist type groups, because they recruit Americans, right? I wonder if they got a bigger, you know, flood of people wanting to join them because I'm on Instagram, y'all. I, I only got 300 followers, right? I only follow like 300 people and I'm seeing so many people that that's not what they're about, but they're about it right now. They're about like anti-America crazy things, right? And I, I don't say nothing. I don't get involved. I, j I just sit back and watch, right? I watch from the background. And, uh, you know, I wonder if a lot of people have, if they reached out, because TikTok, that's where they, that's where they do their recruiting at, on TikTok. Of Somalia, they it's about the Navy SEALs that went missing, man. Love me some Navy SEALs. It's a terrible had to throw it in here. Long roots, a long capability Wonder what they're up to out there, man, trying to get on a ship. We received that report shit. about two Navy SEALs missing off the coast of Somalia. They were attempting to board a small ship believed to be carrying weapons from Iran to Yemen. What is the status? As far as we know, that that search is still ongoing for those uh, for those two sailors that uh, are in the water, um, and uh, we hope to get some updated information today. But we're obviously watching this very closely. Got a uh, volcano out in Iceland erupting, burning down neighborhoods. Now I can probably. It's it's been two weeks, 
we've had enough events already. I could put together like 2024 recap, right? It's about to be 2025, like 2024 highlights. I can probably already do a full compilation of all the crazy things that's happened. We're only two weeks in, y'all. Icelandic volcano update. Uh, it appears to Somebody be on the down, ground, but unfortunately, the city of Grindavik um, is total. All right, I'm going to turn it around the camera so y'all can see it a little bit better. As you can see, uh, the volcano uh, uh is winding down just a little bit. Uh, the lava continues to flow towards the town of Grindavik, and currently, three houses uh, have been lost, as well as kind of the entire city, unfortunately. The Prime Minister and the President have both spoken this evening on the eruption. They say that it is the worst that they've had in 51 years. 51 years. That's Manohar. And even though this is a very dark day, Icelanders are all family, and they uh, and they take care of their own above anything else. It was a it was a very uh, it was a very inspiring speech from the or President. It has also been announced that since the uh, town is considered um, beyond saving at this point, um, the government is going to be looking at providing housing uh, for everyone that has been displaced over the coming months. Now, the force of the eruption itself does seem to be uh, lessening much more than it was this morning. Ha however, what, what uh, did America do when? Hawaii burned down Maui. Eruptions themselves. What did Biden do for them people? But for right now, it does seem like uh, everything is a lot less powerful than it was 12 hours ago. I just want to express my gratitude once again for everyone here um, for being so hospitable to me. Y'all have been incredibly nice. Um, I have been floored seeing the way that y'all have handled this crisis, uh, seeing it firsthand is nothing short of humbling. Y'all are amazing. I love each and every one of y'all, and I will keep you updated when there's something to update y'all on. Let's just say the power grid goes out, okay? I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I know. I just don't know when it's gonna happen. Meaning, is it gonna be in 2024 during election year? Because they're scared shitless that Trump could actually win? Is it gonna be 20, Is it gonna be next five years, 10 years, 15 years? I believe it's going to happen. You best just do whatever you can to be ready for it. Some people are maybe saying, well, I don't have the kind of money. You guys got the money. Da, 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 da. This isn't about money. There's ways of preparing in different ways based on the kind of resources you got. You have to protect your family. How do you do it? You have to do a little bit of research, a little bit of studying for yourself. And if, to find out if that were to happen, do you have a small generator? Do you have certain things set aside? What method of payment will you use if you don't have any cash or if you don't have, <laughs> what other things do you have to protect your family? I do believe it is something worth talking about with your family to be prepared for this because I think something like this is going to happen next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And by the way, I do believe it's going to be worse than COVID because at least with COVID, you can stay home and still communicate with others. With this, you stay home. Your internet, security, gate, lights, Done. it's mayhem. Everything's gone, so what do you do? You just got to be prepared for it. Did you see this contract? Rebuilding of Ukraine. Are you guys ready? Say if it went out next week, would you guys be ready? I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't be ready. I have no water stacked up. I, got, I get my water from my refrigerator filter. That's going to be turned off. Food's going to last a week. No generators. 
So I'm really not prepared, y'all. And you start getting prepared, you're labeled crazy. But you stay ready, you don't got to get ready, right? DJ Quick said it best. Something to think about. Because, uh, I mean, it's bound to go out, right? I mean, it's ran by electricity pretty much. It's bound to go out eventually. Has to. Someone's got to hack into it. Technology's getting too good. I mean, four hundred billion dollar contract. This Your internet this is crazy, security right? Check this gate out. lights. Done. It's mayhem. Everything's gone. So what do you do? You just got to be prepared for it. Did you see this contract? Rebuilding of Ukraine. Four hundred billion dollar contract. BlackRock and Chase is helping rebuild Ukraine. And then, you know, okay, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but what the hell is going on here? You got to think. The war is not even over and they're already re rebuilding it. Now, this happened in my, where I live at. I didn't see it. Now, it is a cloud. It looks like a cloud, but it was a sunny day, not a cloud in the sky, but this. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Looks like a UFO. That's what everyone was saying out here on the radio, that it was a UFO. I wish I would have seen it. I was outside yesterday. I just, I don't know. I didn't see it. But um, check this out, yo. Look at these crazy North Koreans smashing their hands, breaking bricks with sledgehammers. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at them. Look at that. Boom. Damn. Oh. It's so annoying, like, all the comments on this were like, yeah, but what are they going to do against bullets? Like, that's not the damn point. Like, this shit is crazy. This is crazy. They're freaking smashing their hands with sledgehammers, and that's crazy. Got to respect it, right? You got to respect it. It's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, that's a strong core, y'all. You can't front. That's a strong core. Look on his head. <laughs> Look at these guys. That would go through my neck. this one this is cte boom i mean they get their ass whooped by some americans but still you got to respect it that's pretty cool i'd pay to go watch that because martin luther king right before he got assassinated three months before that you know what he said to the martin luther king day we gotta said, throw gotta some admit, of this in there he said i think i made a big mistake yeah he said, I think I've led black folk into a burning, burning building. Burning the building, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. And because he says, there's no, you, you can, he said, you cannot have social integration unless you have economic integration. Mm -hmm. And you cannot have economic integration unless you do what? Unless you redistribute some of these resources into the hands of black folk. And that's when they killed him. You know, Dr. King survived the shooting on the balcony. On the balcony, yeah. What? Dr. King got to the. You got to read the book. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, the audio yeah. book on volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. William Pepper, the white lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way, sued, all the way to it, yeah. Who sued on behalf of the King family yeah. and won in court, yeah, in court yeah. proving that the FBI Absolutely. killed King, yeah, not King. James Earl Ray. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, this yeah, is his yeah. last book because he wrote two others Dang. Orders to Kill and An Act of State. This is the plot to kill King. He says that King survived the shooting. Guess what happened? Dr. King gets to the hospital. Dr. King gets to the hospital. A white nurse says she was ordered by the attending physician to get out. get out. She's walking out the room where Dr. King is laying, and she hear people spitting. She turns around, and the doctor, who we found out later was the uh, family physician for the Memphis, Tennessee Italian Mafia family, what? who participated in the setup for the King oh, death. The Mafia is a pro-government <laughs> organization. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? For she people who around, don't know. The FBI agents and this white doctor were spitting on Dr. King, and then the doctor took a pillow. She saw it. Yes, and suffocated Dr. Oh King. Oh, my God. Get out of here. It's not the first time I've heard that. Uh, I love some Umar, man. A lot of people up and down about him. I like him. I like what he preaches. I like what he speaks. I like to listen to his interviews. Uh, but, yeah, that's Dr. Umar. Wow. And he also confirms that Jesse Jackson is the one who switched Dr. King's hotel room from the bottom floor to the second floor so That's they can have an early and easy shot. Always, it's always the ones closest to you. And, and, and he stood to the side. Yeah. That was like, <laughs> yeah. Jesse didn't want to be up there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no, no. You're talking about the Reverend uh, Billy Cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Jesse, like, uh, yeah, listen, we, listen, we, listen, we, listen, yeah. listen, listen. Okay, Jesse we, was supposed to be on the balcony. But he chose to stay down below because he was too too scared. And guess who the killer was? Oh, 
that. A marksman for the Memphis, Tennessee Police Department. He got yeah. shot by a cop. Just like Trayvon. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, I mean, uh, speaking of a. Uh, Showed up alive. Yeah. Showed up yeah. alive and they suffocated. Mm. So the talk. Look at this, Ray Lewis. Well, motivation today. The field for this last kneel down. That's my guy right there. How about that? And one last Ray Lewis dance. Chills. The original Raven. Went and sent Ray Lewis out with a Super Bowl. I highly recommend his book. I forgot what it's called. I know I got it. Um, I'm probably going to read it again. It's been a while since I read it. But, you know, a little football. It's wild card, divisional time. You know what I mean? Super Bowl's coming up. That's my favorite football player of all time, some Ray Lewis. Anyways, man, I didn't want to do this video. I did not want to sit down here and react. I was tired. I'm working off zero grams of carbs. I've been running miles every day. I run a mile, walk a mile. Again, let me know down below if you guys want to see me document that. I won't put my full compilation, right? I can't until the 30 days are up. But in between, I can just tell you guys, you know, how I'm feeling mentally, you know, with my mental illness. Uh, you know, I can do some shorts of me cooking, eating, whatever. Some vlogs of me cooking, eating. Let me know down below if you guys want me to start that. If you guys will go subscribe to Segovia Vlogs and mess with your boy. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Segovia. I'm signing out of this beautiful man cave. I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.